Welcome back to Cottage Treasures Quilting. My name's Alay. Today we got another collage quilt for you. This one's called the Seawell Turtle. Um, this is another Laurel Heine pattern. Um, so we're going to go through um, how to put this together. Now we're going to be putting it together a little bit different than Laurel Heine does it. We're going to be doing it the right way. Named after our friend Francis Wright of Maidstone, Saskatchewan, who showed us how to use basting spray instead of steam a seam because it's a little bit quite expensive in Canada and it's hard to keep your hands on. So we're going to be showing you our method of doing it. Um, our kits are available with these colors online. You can get just the pattern or get the pattern with all of the fabric you see here. So um, I hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. Okay, so we're building the Seawell pattern by Laura Hagney. This is going to be a kit we're creating for you guys. So in the background, I've just cut 60 inches of this beautiful batik that we get custom made for us and it's going to be the background of the kit. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the fill in the entire background. So I'm going to outline the turtle and you see these little numbers that's because I numbered every piece on the other side. Um, so first step is I'm going to show you all the background fabrics that we're going to fill in. So because the turtle is going up to the level of the sky there we want to start out quite light at the top work our way to medium colors and then be quite into the blacks and the dark blues by the time we get down here so i'm going to trace out the turtle and then i'm going to show you the fabrics i'm going to use to fill in the sides and then i'm going to start gluing and filling them in i'll do the turtle last so for this part i've made several different selections of batik fabrics mainly um, they're all from Indonesia and they're going to be part of the kit for the background. I've started out with a black, went to a navy, three shades of turtles, a nice medium blue here, and up there I went with a sky blue. Now here, these are two laurel birch fabrics that I just love. They have a metallic dots in them, so I'm actually going to cut these um, in big waves and they will go up the side like seaweed. Then all the other ones, I'm going to cut a square out, about 6 inches by 6 inches, a rectangle, and one long 12 inch piece. And then they're going to overlay each other on the way up to create that collage effect. Everything's going to be linear from top to bottom for this base layer that's going on. We have traced our turtle, so we know what we're going to cut out and we'll use the turtle pattern to make sure all of these are exactly in place. All right, next step is cutting them out into the shape of a skyline. All right, so we have cut all the batiks we had talked about earlier and the laurel birch. So all I did was I take a square and I cut a just uh, rectangles out of it and then I'd work with that. I laid down all the big pieces first, starting dark at the bottom and migrating up to light, the lightest. Same down here, darkest in the corner, up to the lightest up there. And then I also did the seaweed on the side effect with the laurel birch. And all I did was just cut kind of a serpentine design in them. And then this is the space the turtle's gonna go in. Then I took the smaller pieces and just if it was against a black and it was the next shade up, I'd let it touch again. So I kind of kept graduating my colors up as I went and incorporating them. Always keeping everything linear and it looks like it worked out quite nice. Now the next step is to spray it all down with the basting spray and then run over it with the machine to keep it in place before I start adding my turtle pieces and more decorative pieces. I'm going to add some coral reef type of with the fungi fabric and that sort of thing in the corners but I'm very pleased with how it looks so far it does look like the lights coming down from um, the skyline down to the bottom of the ocean where it's quite dark Okay, so I'm just straight stitching um, all of our blocks down to the quilt. So um, once we go to lay the turtle down and work on the turtle fins and shell, um, 
everything around here that we previous base, previously basted won't uh, jumble around and irritate us. So while I'm doing this, Delilah's actually over here on our cutting board and she's working on the fins for the turtle. And so what she did is she just lobbed the fins right off from the main pattern. And to keep the contrast in the quilt, we're gonna, this beautiful piece of fabric is uh, one of the pieces we've chosen for the fins. <clears throat> so we're going to use the lighter spots on this fabric for the fins that are going towards the surface. So we pretty much just lay them down like that. And then the darker spots we are going to use for the lower fins. That way um, you still get the sense that the turtle is making his way up to the surface. So once you have them laid out where you want them, uh, you can take an erasable pen or a permanent marker, depending on how you feel about um, having some marks left over afterwards. We're going to use a mark uh, fabric pen that when you spray it, uh, it disappears. So yeah, go ahead and cut your fins out, lay them down on the fabric and um, trace them out and cut those out and then you can put those ones to the side and uh, start working on the rest of the turtle. So we've cut our uh, backing, that's just a plain cone of black, uh, soft and bright batting, and we've laid our turtle on top. It's all 43 by 63 inches, so uh, makes it quite easy. And uh, yeah, we're getting ready to baste it and quilt it. So we're gonna give it a light, gentle spray. Um, windows are open. So we've got our quilt basted and um, we've got a small throat on our home machine so we're going to roll this up because we like to start in the middle that way you can get most of the fabric out of your throat so it's easier as you go. So we then roll it up both edges and I'm going to start in the middle on the shell of the turtle and um, I'm going to keep them very um, geometric the shapes kind of to make it look as if the turtle uh, shell is popping. So we'll take this over to the machine. So right off the bat, uh, make sure your machine is set up. We've got our sliding plate down. Um, we put our free motion quilt foot on. Um, we've got our gloves. Um, we've done a test piece to make sure that our tension feels good on on the machine and um, you oh I always practice on a practice piece before I do it on the final quilt because I don't feel like pulling out the seam ripper on the final project so yeah we're pretty much ready to quilt this and um, coming up I'll show you what I'm doing with the shell and depending on whether you like that and want to use that yourself uh, stay tuned
Sewell is done. We had a blast coming up with some free motion um, ideas to put into this as well as cutting this apart and building the collage. Um, I hope everybody enjoys our video. Please subscribe to our channel and leave some likes and comments. We always appreciate the comments. Uh, visit us on Facebook and um, come visit us on our store at cottagetreasures.store where we have the patterns or the pattern with the colors you see here, see here available online. Thanks for joining us and uh, till next time.